What's up and welcome to episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're talking about my predictions for 2021, what we're gonna see in gaming laptops. I'm super excited. I think we're all curious, what is the future gonna look like here in a few months for gaming laptops? Well, I'm gonna try to guess at what it might be. I could totally be wrong, but we'll see. The first big prediction I have for 2021 is that there will be competition this year like we haven't seen in the gaming laptop segment in a long time. Nvidia has dominated the GPU market inside the laptop segment and until 2020, Intel has dominated the CPU segment in the gaming laptop market. But as we know, Ryzen CPUs this last year dominated as the best CPU of choice. But the thing about Ryzen laptops in 2020 is that they had to be paired with weaker RTX 20. 60 GPUs or lower because the bandwidth between the CPU and GPU just wasn't there to go all the way up to like the 2070 and 2080 and limited the GPU's performance. This year is different. AMD's Ryzen CPUs should be fully parable upable with, if that's a word, should be fully Compatible, there we go. Should be fully compatible with the RTX 3000 series GPUs all the way to the 3080. We know this because some laptops have leaked and we've seen them paired up with a 3080 and a new Ryzen 5000 series CPU. Now on the GPU side, Nvidia has dominated the market segment for a long, long time. The big thing here is that because AMD has become so competitive with Nvidia in the desktop GPU segment, I think we should look to AMD to compete with Nvidia this year in the gaming laptop GPU segment, which means we will likely see AMD CPUs paired with high-end Nvidia GPUs as well as AMD GPUs potentially. I don't know when those will be out. Are we going to see AMD launch their laptop GPU lineup at CES 2021? There's not been any leaked laptops that I'm aware of that indicate that an AMD GPU will be paired with an AMD CPU yet, though I would not be surprised at all if that did happen. If that does happen, that would be so cool though because it would mean that Nvidia has to compete with AMD immediately for the market share in 2021, which of course any competition, as you know, would just drive the prices of laptops down. There's a lot to break down here. So let's just start with a timeline. CES 2021. What do I expect? I expect Nvidia to launch their 3000 series GPUs. We'll have an Nvidia RTX 3060, 3070, and 3080. AMD will launch a series of laptop CPUs. Current leaks indicate that the, the main ones at least will be eight core CPUs. What kind of performance improvements are we looking at for these new AMD CPUs? It looks to be about 22% higher performance overall. Now, as I've predicted for months now, I believe we're gonna see some of these laptops go on sale by the end of January, probably taking delivery of a lot of these laptops maybe early February, maybe late February, depending on the model, depending on how sold out it is, depending on supply and demand. These things are gonna be priced competitively enough because of the competition between Intel, AMD, and Nvidia that consumers are gonna be like, holy crap, there's so much performance in gaming laptops for the money, buy, 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 just like they've been buying tons of desktop GPUs. Desktop GPUs for both AMD and Nvidia are just sold out like crazy because it's so much more competitively priced than previous generation hardware. Now at CES 2021, Intel will probably not announce their 11th gen gaming laptop CPUs. So far, leaks indicate that the laptops are gonna have 10th gen CPUs from Intel, which means we're not gonna have a big performance bump. That said, Intel is gonna fire back with their own 11th gen CPUs at some point this year. I'm guessing around April or March-ish announcement followed by sales somewhere like an April, May-ish. I don't know. Don't take these too seriously. Current leaks for desktop tech indicate that Intel may be sticking with a 14 nanometer process but improving their architecture on the CPU to increase performance by 25%, partially by just, once again, raising the power limit of the CPU, which is so, such, yeah, it's not the way to go. You want to increase the power efficiency, not just increase the, keep increasing the power limit because laptops can only dissipate so much heat and if you keep making the parts hotter and hotter in a desktop, you can just keep putting a bigger and bigger cooler on there, okay? But in a laptop, there's a certain heat threshold you have to work with and it's just not gonna work very well. I'm just afraid Intel is not gonna be able to compete with AMD very well this year. And unless they surprise us, they totally could surprise us, Intel will likely have very good gaming performance, be very competitive in the gaming market segment. But when it comes to multi-threaded performance for things like video editing, AMD will be the best CPU to get. That's very not 
based on many things because it's kind of like an extrapolation of the current leaks based on the Intel desktop CPU. So take that with a big grain of salt. Whew, I'm excited. Okay. Uh, now what can we expect for display technology in 2021? Well, at the end of 2020, we saw quad HD high refresh rate gaming panels. To me, quad HD, which is 2560 by 1440p is much better detail. Even on a 15 inch laptop, you can noticeably tell the difference at your typical gaming distance. Now 4k, you can't really tell much of a difference between 1440p and 4K, in my opinion, at a normal viewing distance. Now, in 2020, the standard good quality display was 144 hertz, 100% sRGB, about 71% Adobe RGB. Adobe RGB is much harder to hit 100%, and it's noticeably different when you have 100% sRGB versus 100% Adobe RGB. Like, if the screens are side by side, you're just like, wow. The 100% Adobe RGB display is so much more punchy, so much more colorful. And I think in 2021, we're gonna see a lot more laptops with 100% Adobe RGB and have a high refresh rate. And that's the key difference because a lot of laptops had 100% Adobe RGB, but were not high refresh. So in 2021, expect potentially quad HD displays, 165 Hertz displays mixed potentially with 100% Adobe RGB, that is, an insane trifecta that is i think the ideal display for the vast majority of gamers out there but you're going to need a lot of graphics power so the good thing is the new rtx 3000 series gpus are going to do very well on higher resolutions now if you missed my last video i talked about what kind of performance we could expect from an rtx 3000 series gpu a benchmark was leaked that we're going to get a 58 percent performance improvement which is pretty insane if you want to see the full details on that please go check out that video but i don't think that benchmark is fully representative of what we can expect from RTX 3000 series GPUs in general. I think across the board we can expect more like a 20 to 40 percent improvement in the vast majority of titles. Now regarding AMD's RDNA 2 GPUs in laptops, we've had one leak that I am currently aware of that I found online. It is three different models of the RDNA 2 GPU. We get a low watt, 35 to 50 watts. This is kind of like your budget $700, $800 gaming laptop GPU. And in addition, this one might fit into super thin and light gaming laptops that are like, you know, like 13 inch Ultrabooks. Maybe you can put this like lightweight RDNA 2 GPU in that. Now this leak also indicated that AMD is going to launch two additional ones, like a mid tier, like 65 to 90 watt GPU. And then also a more powerful GPU that has like a 90 to 135 ish watt range, depending on the configuration and whether it's like a max Q style version of the GPU. This I think is extremely interesting because if there is any credibility to this leak, it is huge because it's going to drive Nvidia prices down. Nvidia is going to be uh, really afraid of losing their market share to these new AMD GPU laptops, especially if the AMD GPU laptops are paired with the new Ryzen AMD CPUs because it's likely that those two paired together are going to have even extra power efficiency because of the new architecture and the way the AMD CPUs and GPUs work work together to increase performance. So because of all of the competition that we're dealing with in 2021, prices should be lower than past years, especially for the ultra high end hardware. Nvidia and Intel, they're just not gonna be able to be like, yeah, we're gonna charge you a thousand dollars extra for our higher end GPUs and CPUs because AMD is gonna be releasing their high end stuff that's gonna be very competitive with Intel and Nvidia. I can't wait to get my hands on them, get some reviews, check out the new tech, Whenever it comes out, it's gonna be an exciting and fun year for gaming laptop enthusiasts for sure. So if you don't wanna miss out on all the reviews and tech videos coming up, be sure to hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there, stay well. Brandon, out.